Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Natalie the Dawn. I'm your host, Chad Fury 333 I apologize to the Twitch viewers for the delay, or Twitch and Hitbox viewers for the delay. Minor technical issues came up. Not sure why, because they were apparently fixed. I don't know. It was really weird, but whatever. It's been dealt with. Anyway, so... Moving on, we have a game between RAR and Professional. Today is going to be pretty much all RAR games. They're, they've played a lot of games recently. And I'm also kind of curious to just see, because, you know, we see them from time to time. But they have such a unique approach to the game, favoring the commander as much as they do. I'm curious to see how that's developed, and also kind of to see if they do it radically differently from game to game. What we've seen so far, they kind of have had pretty typical ways of doing things. Usually, like, commander plus a few thugs, or commander plus slashers. It's not usually that varied, but I'm curious. The last game I saw with them, they actually went for a lot of bandits. They didn't go standard commander thug. They actually had a fairly large army going with them. That was interesting. I want to know if they're continuing to do that, if they're continuing to experiment. So, that's what I want to find out. So they are, I'm not sure what they're going to go for right now, professional going for light vehicle factory, which is a couple slashers, pretty typical. Rar going for amphib, Okay, that is a little unexpected. So, Rar going for the Amphib Factory. Early duck for scouting. I'm a bit surprised if Amphib on Titan Duel of all maps, but apparently, yeah, apparently that is the choice. So, yeah, we are seeing a couple ducks coming out for scouting. Probably a conch right afterwards, just because, well, you should. And Professional, very typical. This is normal. This is, <laughs> this play with, with, the, with the Scorchers, that's normal. That you normally see. Rar, however, are they... Oh, no guard. These ducks aren't guarding the commander right now. And no conch either, so Rar being aggressive, I guess? I mean, they're clearly building up for an attack or something. They're building up for something, building up maybe preparation for defense, not... No, not defense. What am I saying? The, these ducks are way too close to each other to be for defense. They'd be spread out somewhat. I don't, we'll find out what Rar is doing. I'm really kind of confused. Professional, on the other hand, like I said, typical play. Getting the mace and getting the commander. Just building up as much as they can. Getting their economy going. That's what they need. But Rar... Okay, now Rar going for the attack. This is what I expected. And... Okay. Six ducks, definitely a force to be reckoned with. But no conches. I don't understand this. Why Rar? Why are you not building up the rest of your economy. Do you really expect to win on Titan Duel this quickly? This is not a rush map. This is not an easy rush map anyway. You kind of can, but not really. So I don't know what the point is. Quite honestly, I've, I'm really confused. And Professional just sending out another Scorcher. And all these ducks moving forward. I mean, these ducks are going to hit pretty hard. I will grant that. This is a pretty hard attack. Professional, however, does have a couple levelers. Yeah, I'm not so sure. The levelers, I think, take about th three shots, if I'm counting correctly. 230. No, actually, they take five shots. I wouldn't... I don't know. Three or four levelers might be enough. One leveler won't be. The ducks will tear to shreds. I mean, short of having just the right position, the leveler's not going to do very well. And Rars, ducks, okay, they're doing all right. I mean, they're dealing a fair amount of damage. This is just really unusual. But... It's doing a job. A couple levelers here, actually a threat. Raw realizing this backs away, good, because that's what you should do at this point. And Professional not really able to get any harassment in, but Raw not really expanding. Raw's economy is kind of falling behind. Professional, okay, they got damage, they're about on par with Raw. Raw, however, doesn't have any conches. They're just now getting a conch. Like, they're really betting on the fact that they've just now managed to cripple the economy to the point that Professional and RAR are about even. But... This is the way this... Thanks, Orphelius. Pointing out, I have become a RAR replay channel. Yes, I am the apparently the president of the RAR fan club. Which is not true. Everyone knows I'm the president of the Cubay fan club. They just haven't played in a while. At any rate, Professional is... Hell, they're prepared for the ducks. They aren't prepared for the fact that Rar is going for more of an economy play right now. So Rar really not going heavy on the commander. They're playing quite different. They have the commander upgraded, but one upgrade is not a big deal. That's pretty normal. Professional hasn't upgraded their commander, mind you, but still. 
Rar's not really playing like Rar unless their commander is level five, 4 or 5. But I'm curious to see how they experiment with non-commander-oriented play, which appears to be this game. And right now, I mean, okay, it looks like it's worked out. If you look at the economy, Rar and Professional are actually still about on par. And Rar is putting a fair amount of pressure on Professional, so this duck strategy has actually paid early dividends. But the levelers have caught up, and now this is where everything goes to hell, because I said five ducks, be the leveler in one shot. Five levelers, tear ducks to shreds. And Scallop is the response, I... What? Scallop, really? Scallops? I, I would have gone for boys myself, but okay. I don't totally understand the logic of this. 29... Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. Whatever. Levelers are doing okay. Ducks going in, doing okay. Hmm. So right now... Just right now... I'm... I'm thinking Professional is going to be able to turn this around. I really do. It just I don't I don't think RAR has much momentum anymore. They had a fair amount of momentum. They had the economy advantage. They still have an economy advantage. But with the levelers up and in position and everything, the ducks can't really get around them. They're not much faster. And the levelers 66, the ducks 84. That's I mean the ducks are faster but not by much and the ravagers are actually faster than the ducks by 4 elmos per second. So the yeah, at this point professionals doing fine. Going for a counterattack, and that counterattack should be able to take out this metal extractor, maybe this one as well. The scallop, okay, that'll help. I'll grant. Levelers deal, what, 220 a shot? Okay, so five levelers, one shot a scallop. That's true. The scallops do have a higher DPS. But I'm fairly certain that levelers would survive. I, I don't... I don't know. And there's no drop, by the way. Anyone wondering about a scallop drop, potentially? No gunship plant. No gunship plant in the menu. No gunship plant in the field. Nothing. Professional also not really going for any air factory, but this is just weird. This is really bizarre, I find it. Just... I mean, the scallops aren't... actually doing too bad. Okay, they're doing better than I expected. Uh, though those levelers were kind of out of position. They were spread out a bit from each other. But still, yeah, that worked. I wouldn't have thought to go for Scallop, but apparently Rara knows something about the Amphib Factor that I don't, because, I mean, these are Riot units. I'd have gone for the Skirmisher. But then, of course, I have a bit of a weakness for the type counter system, so that may have been a bad idea. However, I still think it's a matter of numbers at this point. They just If you consider the numbers of the two, because Scallops deal about 220 a shot. Really, they both deal about the same amount per shot. Levelers just have the splash damage. Well, actually, they both have splash damage. They're about even, aren't they? Really, the main difference is that levelers are much faster. Like, well, they're 25% faster. That's the biggest difference. But in terms of area of effect, that's about the same. In terms of damage, that's almost identical. In terms of DPS, the scallop wins. Huh. And in terms of range, they probably are about the same, I would guess, just because riots are riots. Okay, leveler does beat the does beat scallop by 60 elmos. So about 20%. But Professional on point with the Slashers. They know what they're going for. Rar going for a quick Grizzly. They're done. They want the game to end. They're going for that Grizzly. Totally understand that. But at the same time, that's kind of tricky. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, Professional pushing out those Slashers, which is... Well, that's definitely, like I said, an improvement on the strategy. They are protected by the Ravagers. That's great. There aren't a whole lot of Ravagers, mind you. And Slashers going down here should be able to... Oh, are they going to be able to... Do they know? They do! The Slashers can hit those Stardusts from a distance. That is going to work really well for Professional. But Rar are getting a pretty scary army going up here. I mean, Professional is kind of in a position where they basically can't hit Rar head on. Not easily, anyway. The Slashers can do a fair amount of damage, but... Yeah, the Scallops are tanking and remarkably well. The Grizzly is about to come up. I'm not too concerned about that myself, but still, that is an issue that will come up. But Rar just doesn't have map control. That's the thing. Persi Professional doesn't have to worry about this. Not Poseidon. Poseidon's Skull Girls. Not 0k. Professional doesn't have to worry about this because they have map control. 
Like, okay, they may not be able to easily hit the army. I mean, the slashers, that's a lot of firepower, but it's also fairly fragile. They don't really care. <laughs> they don't need to hit the army directly. They just need to outproduce. They're twice the economy. This At this point, I don't know what RAR really has going for them other than this Grizzly. This Grizzly is... Okay, I'll admit. Grizzly is impressive. Or at least intimidating. And it'll probably kill one or two Ravagers, and that'll be it. Or Slashers. That actually could be a problem. But remember, the Grizzly has six second reload time. So that's one Slasher, maybe two every six seconds. And there are currently ten here, and ten in the field. What, what's going on here? Ravager being built up? Okay, that's pretty normal. Anyway... Your moment of truth, this is exactly what we're waiting for. And Rar not in good position. The Slasher's a very advantageous position there, that's exactly what they want. And here we start one, ra one Slasher per second getting destroyed. Now, what is professional building? Ravager and Leveler. They're flanking with the Ravager Leveler, actually avoiding that entirely, going to the north. Not even touching the army with the Ravagers and the Levelers. Scaring it away with the Slashers. Attacking with everything else. Rar's commander still inside their main base, barely upgraded. While Professional's commander actually... No, doesn't really care. Who cares about Professional's commander? Professional's not a commander player. Professional's commander is actually over here somewhere. But, where is it? Oh, it's down here. Yeah. But that's just that commander. At any rate, Rar with this Grizzly is kind of terrifying right now, honestly. But with the yeah, the thing is that is kind of a terrifying counterattack. And while the flank was not a bad idea, got rid of more economy, kept Professional ahead in the economy race. Professional right now is kind of behind enemy lines. This last is being torn apart. This is the thing I was worried about. I mean, those Ravagers needed to run interference, and they aren't there to do so. Last Valiant stand of those Slashers, but really there's not much more to be said about it. Slashers down. More Ravagers and Levelers are up, but really it's going to come down to whether or not this flanking maneuver is going to work out. I mean, like I said, they're behind enemy lines. On the other hand, this could be a pincer maneuver. Or at least work out to be a pincer maneuver. And it's working pretty well. Those Ravagers getting out from enemy lines quite effectively. Still a lot of damage being dealt to the southwest. Professional's commander needs to escape, probably onto this hill. Just their luck, Rar's ducks were not ordered to go all the way. Professional on the regroup. About to attack, probably in a couple seconds, or should, I would imagine. Rar's pretty much got this one opportunity to get back. If they get rid of all this and rebuild, if they get rid of all the economy and rebuild, Rar should be able to get back in the game Maybe. Professional has gone for Heavy Tank Factory. They still have a 44 metal per second economy. They are still twice as far ahead just for metal, not for energy. The energy is just off the charts for Professional. Moho Geo or Advanced Geothermal Plant. That just does it for you. But metal is the more important thing. Although if they link that up, oh man, they haven't linked that up yet. Or they had linked it up and it got broken. They still have 42 metal per second. Even without the immense overdrive the Advanced Geothermal Plant would give them. Problem is, what are they going to do with it? And Reaper coming in, not a bad choice, getting rid of the Grizzly. I, I'm i a bit surprised they didn't go for Goliaths. I'm actually kind of surprised. Not totally, the Goliath is really going to only help against the... Oh, no, the Goliath would help against a lot of stuff. It's got a wide splash, it has a slow beam. Why don't they go for Goliath? I'm finding that rather strange. I mean, Reaper, Banisher... Okay, Banisher I can understand. Banisher gets rid of the ducks pretty effectively. Actually, really effectively. Probably should build more of those. Reaper, I could get for a counterattack to get through defenses against a bunch of mobile units. I don't really get the point. It'll tank damage. But what is there to follow up? The vehicle plant isn't building anything. The Banishers aren't up yet. The Reaper can't hit the broadside of a barn. Well, okay, can, but it can't hit a moving barn. Still a fairly large target, but it's moving, and the Reaper's just done. Professional back with the overdrive, back up to 60 metal per second. Should be able to pump out these units no problem, it's just... I don't understand why this particular composition. Like, Reaper Banisher is one of those things that you kind of just sort of do because you know it works in general. It's not a bad composition, it's just in this particular instance with a lot of raiders, 
and not a lot of heavy units to fight against, I don't understand it. So yeah, I don't really... Oh, Goliath doesn't have Splash? Never mind, it has some Splash, but still, Banisher. The point is Goliath has Slow Beam. The, the Goliath can get rid of the, the Grizzly no problem, and it has Slow Beam against the Ducks. At least, unless I forgot something. Let's just double check, because... Wouldn't be the first time I made a mistake. Nope, Slowing Beam. That is a thing. It has a Slow Beam. It would help a bunch for the Reapers. And a Ban... Well, not Banshee. And a Brawler as well, because why not? Get a gunship plan for the Brawlers, get the Brawlers to get rid of the Ducks. I mean, the thing is... If we look, professionals economies... Oh, wait, never mind, no. If you look closely, RAR has taken over the economy game. Wow. RAR is rapidly winning the economy game. We're getting back up, at least. Mostly via reclaim, but still, they're on par. Professionals actually gone on the back foot. These, these brawlers will help, but that's not enough. And... Reaper Banisher, not even, not able to get rid of the Grizzly. How much is Goliath, anyway? 220, Yeah. Still, that would probably be worth it. So, yeah, I just don't even know. I mean, Rar, if they took the Metal Extract, just as, well, you put, notice in the replay, Feltos had actually said, or, sorry, notice in the original game, Feltos was pointing out the spectator chat, get these metal extractors. Loads and loads of metal extractors that are just open. They haven't been retaken, which is bizarre, but we saw at the beginning of the game, RAR was not going for metal quickly. It, they, it took them two minutes to build their first conch. They're barely building up metal. They're reclaiming a bunch, but they aren't building up metal extractors much. And that's basically professionals in at this point. Get some time to build up, and brawlers coming along the southwest. Three brawlers... Probably should follow those. Or not. Okay. They're not doing anything interesting at the moment. And... That's one advanced geothermal plant done. Professional about... No, I'm not about to lose the second one. But the second one's taking some damage. Nothing defending that second one. So it's going to go fairly soon. Already disconnected. So very little overdrive left. And that's what's keeping professional above RAR. And actually not even... It's turning around. This is turning around rapidly. But... One last shot here. And that's... That is painful. Advanced Geothermal Plant again goes down. Professionals Energy Economy down to a much more reasonable 48. Their economy overall turned around, but at this point the military is not in a bad position. Got rid of one Grizzly. There are a fair amount of Banishers, and there are the Brawlers have finally arrived, so we have some potential comeback coming in here. Well, we'll see. Angler's doing a pretty decant job getting rid of this, but the, the Amphib Plant's down! The Amphib Plant's gonna go down, Rar's Commander may follow those archers... Sorry, those Anglers are a bit of a pain. Not sufficiently painful! And the Brawlers... Will they get rid of the Fusion Plant? They should be able to. Yeah, the Fusion Plant's down, that'll damage the Commander. Not kill it, but at least damage it, slow down the Razor Construction. Rar's Commander about to go down! Is it gonna go down? Is it going? Is it going? Nope. No, it's not quite going down. And... Maybe? Possibly? It... Wow. Brawler killed at just the last second. Extremely... What the heck? I... That was remarkably close, and now for some reason my camera's gone bored. What the heck? That was a really close setup, though. I, what the heck just happened? That was weird. Anyway. I'll have to figure out what's going on in a sec, but... At any rate, the point is, Rar's Commander doing just fine for itself. Okay, I don't know what's going on. It's really weird. Yeah, Rar's Commander doing this fine for itself, but Professional kind of able to break this back. Okay, this is really hard for me to actually cast now. Sorry about this. I don't know what happened, but now it's hard for me to actually manipulate the camera. Great. Ah, there we go. 
That was really bizarre. But we're back in business. All right, so my apologies. So yeah, RAR with two gunship plants because they want to spare, I guess. Not sure what they're going to go for with that, but the point is Professional has basically all the time in the world to build up an attack. Rapier coming in, not going to be able to build up too quickly. This is where the Reapers will shine. Coming in, tanking through the fences, getting rid of main base structures. This is what the Reapers are for. And that's exactly what's been done. There we go. That won't be a problem. And at this point, I don't really see what RAR has. They really should have been building up these metal extractors. I don't know why they weren't. It's really strange. But yeah, more rapiers coming up from here. And... Well, Blastwings for the final blow. Blastwings, Reaper, Banisher. Should be fine. Where are the Blastwings right now? None appear to really be in play. Nope. Nope, that's the first one. All right, so the Blast Wings probably to help finish things off. But honestly, I don't know why RAR is not being hit right now. Professional could just attack right now. They could just attack. Although, as you see in the little chat there, taking the metal extractors would have been a big deal here. RAR would have had a load more metal. It just... Professional would have had to retake the map, would have had to go all the way back, tear apart all of these metal extractors in order to be able... And they're already actually planning on doing that. They already they, That's what these Blastwings are for. No need, though, because RAR never took those metal extractors. They just took them away. So that really didn't do much. And this should be the finishing blow right about now. The Banishers will be able to help finish this off, but yeah, the Banishers are the main tool right now. And what, the Reapers are actually able to hit? Well, sometimes I suppose, but yeah. More Banishers would be nice. Be really handy right about now. Not really sure why the ratio isn't reversed, but whatever. Once these Rapiers are dealt with, then the main base is going to fall and... I'm going to speed this up, because I think it's kind of a foregone conclusion at this point, really, when you think about it, that what else is there to this? It's just a matter of having enough banishers to get rid of the rapiers and then tear apart the base. And they're slowly but surely coming up, so yeah, that, that's basically it. And cobras, because why not? Oh, sorry, copperheads. Moving cobras. Cobras on wheels. Where are the copperheads, anyway? Ah, there they are. Seriously, what the heck? Just finish it off and, and be done with it, because at this point, this is... Okay, yeah. Rar probably knows. I guess they were really trying to avoid using the commander. I can respect that, but at the same time, it didn't work. Sorry. But it, it really didn't. Another amphib plant, just in case, but that's not going to really do the trick. That's not going to help out. Professional has the economy advantage, and now they have the proper territory and military advantage. And at this point, RAR attacking. This means Professional knows they can attack right now, and I think they're going to. They're sending it to... No, they're going to defend. I mean, they could attack... These, re these Reapers could just attack straight up. Why are these Reapers not attacking the main base? I don't know. Because they could go for it. Like, the Copperheads, yeah, the Copperheads know where to go. They, they get rid of these Banshees, no big deal. The Rapiers have no Banshees to worry about. They know this. Because all the area units went north. And generally in 0k, you can assume that if you see your opponent attacking somewhere, and it's using a type of, like, using all area units or ground units, that's probably their entire air or ground army. That's usually how it goes. You usually don't have to worry about them having a bunch of stuff saved in the back of their base. They probably used it all. But doesn't matter. There's the end. Professional going in for the kill. And there's nothing Rar has to deal with this. The Grizzly is not enough. The Commander about to go down. Down. Everything down. There we go. That kind of dragged at the end. As you can see, there was that little bit where Professional had an even and slightly greater economy. But Rar's economy... My goodness. The entire game. Like, when Rar's economy had the advantage, it had a fourfold advantage. 
when professionals had the advantage, sorry, when professionals had the advantage, it was fourfold. When RAR had the advantage, it was like 10%. Bit of a difference. And then, of course, professionals, absolutely ludicrous energy economy, thanks to the two advanced geothermal plants. But yeah. Wow, professionals really, never really behind on units. Just at the beginning. Those ducks kind of helped out. I mean, we saw at the beginning. That was kind of what was happening. The ducks... The ducks helped out. RAR and professional were roughly even on economy. And then professional just exploded in expansion. And RAR was slow and timid about their expansion. And that's what happened. And we saw the result. Although, really, RAR had a chance there. If they took those last metal extractors, they would have taken this game, most likely. Oh, well. That was that. So... Another one, which is going to also be with RAR, and it's going to be RAR against... I want to say Anarchid, but that might be the third game. Where the heck did Chrome go up? Oh, okay, there we go. RAR versus Failthos. On Hide and Seek, which is Failthos' turf. We'll see how that goes. Although I did just say it was Failthos' turf, which... I guess kind of makes it work. Like I said, this is going to be RAR because it's all a lot of RAR games played recently in the 1v1 room. It's Saturday. I'm trying to get games with higher LO players. That might be a bad rule to follow going forward. I may just want to just get games. Anyway, be back in a minute, so stay tuned.